snap we're back we did a marvel snap video as today we got cloak and dagger back at it again upgraded version meant to counter the leech leader meta today's deck tech may end up being a little bit longer than usual because i got quite a bit to say this is today the deck that i feel most proud of the archetype that i feel most proud of and i've been uh, putting a lot of work into it adapting it to what we run into in the ladder the prior version of this deck had an issue that it was hard countered by leech leader because leech would just hit us really hard on turn five where we want to be dropping the iron fist dagger combo and all sorts of other, th other things <laughs> and uh, we had a lower curve uh, we did not play um heimdall right here and we were focused on using the dagger combos on the very last turn right things have changed though now this is the deck that's running around the ladder the most this is what i refer to when i say leech leader right this is a deck that doesn't really have any particular synergy like there are some synergies here and there maybe like maybe maximus with leech it makes sense right but for the most part this deck is just basically incorporating the best cards in the game that's essentially it right armor to protect sunspot yeah and to protect some other units from stuff like shang chi but this is essentially a list that's just aiming to uh get value out of your cards on curve without having to worry about them combining with others and ultimately leeching the opponent's hand on five and then playing leader on six and it shuts down a lot of strategies. It's a very dominant deck right now. And uh, there's a lot of different variations of the same stuff running around. Uh, pretty much every post that I see somebody reach infinite, it's a variation of this deck. So it's something that you gotta consider and something that you gotta try to counter. And I wanted to counter with a highly synergistic deck and uh, with my personal favorite archetype in the game that is Cloak and Dagger. How is this version adapted to this uh, leader deck right well first of all we are faster than before this deck is designed to beast on turn four and cloak on turn five and then turn six we can heimdall i've incorporated heimdall because heimdall is fantastic into leader because leader doesn't really benefit too much from playing heimdall and it just kind of like messes up their entire board by just uh mispositioning everything while we get to move our shit as well and our vulture and dagger get us a tremendous boost in the process right and the craven as well so heimdall is actually pretty anti-meta right now even though it can be predictable this deck doesn't always need to end with heimdall dr strange is a very nice alternative play that can allow us to move in the other direction and catch people off guard i gotta say this is by far the hardest deck to pilot that i've personally brewed and or just played uh so it, it takes a while to get the hang of it and uh it can be a bit of a frustrating experience at first but once you get the gist of it and you start pulling off some sick ass combos and just throwing your opponent off it is extremely rewarding there's a few things about this deck that may really seem out of place but every single card in this deck has a very important role so without further ado let's let's talk about it let's let's have a ted talk here so yeah we got cloak and dagger these are uh two cards that work really well together dagger says when this moves to a location plus two power for each card your opponent has here dagger is one of the few cards in the game that has the potential to just skyrocket in in value as every time we get to move her we're able to uh, get a very powerful boost if we move her into a location filled with cards the difference between something like dagger and human torch which is a card that i get asked uh, a lot about is that human torch is a one drop and i don't want to have my engine my win condition die to killmonger which is a pretty popular card dagger does not have to worry about killmonger and that is a huge difference so in this deck we have two uh, snowbally engines well two and a half really in dagger and vulture and then craven craven also works extremely well with Heimdall because if we stack uh, a bunch of cards in the Craven location as they move to the left every single card that moves alongside Craven will give Craven a plus two boost and I can really regularly get this two drop up to like eight or ten power or even further which is pretty insane for two energy right and I also got this sick ass Vader that I'm really really proud of to be honest yeah free to play baby so we got Cloak and Dagger Vulture and Craven as our are uh, cards that generate us uh, strength, right? Uh, Cloak, not really. Cloak, Cloak is what helps us move them around. But then we have to have a game plan that essentially gets under Leech. We don't want to get Leeched on turn five. Uh, Heimdall may get Leeched, but that's not really a, a, a deal breaker by any means, as we can still drop it for the strength. But what really matters is that we get under Leech on five with our other cards that I mentioned. That's why we want to beast on four. In order to beast on four, one line of play is to potentially on turn three, 
Iron Fist into Dagger, and then we can drop uh, something into Beast, like for example, play a Goose on the right, or play, play a Craven on the right, into Beast onto the same location in which Iron Fist and Dagger are in, so we can bounce them back. So you generally always want to play Iron Fist uh, in a location, and then Dagger to the right of him, so that they end up in the same location, so you can bounce them uh, with Beast and reuse them again with the gain buffs, right? Cloak, Beast into Cloak is also an alternative line of play that we can resort to if we if we play Dagger on Curve, we can uh, Beast into Cloak on turn four, and then we can uh, Cloak again on turn five. The same goes with Vulture as well. We can turn three Vulture, and then we can Cloak into Beast and uh, Cloak on turn five again, and we managed to move Vulture a couple of times before setting up the Doctor Strange or Heimdall finisher. Heimdall is an alternative play, but Doctor Strange can also, like I said, move in the other direction, so you gotta take that into account, but there are games in which you play Doctor Doctor Strange on curve to get the dagger uh, pumping as well. Like it really depends on how your draws go, right? That's why this deck can be really tricky to pilot because you really need to understand that at its core, how it obtains said power. Psylocke, it seems like a really weird card, but it's actually very, very good here because what we can do is we can play Psylocke on turn two. And there's a lot of scenarios in which we have Iron Fist, Vulture and Beast. And that means turn two Psylocke can allow us to Iron Fist, Vulture on three, and then uh, two drop like Goose or Craven into Beast on turn four. What's really important is that we always Beast on turn four because that means we can dump our recalled cards on turn five the same turn they play Leech and we avoid Leech hitting our key uh, win conditions. Goose on the right! That's where you generally want to play this bad boy because you want to prevent them from being able to play cards over there. Though Goose in the center also makes sense. And in the left as well, because of the Heimdall edition, now uh, we have uh, more options with this card. But this card allows us to make sure that our opponent cannot drop their big cards in that specific location. So we can try to win that one uh, with, with Goose and potentially like a Doctor Strange into it or Craven with Polaris. Polaris allows us to move stuff into a location to stack it up so that our dagger is stronger while also synergizing with Craven in the process too. As then we have Scarlet Witch because locations can really screw our game plan up. There's a lot of locations that disrupt movement decks and Scarlet Witch is an absolute necessity to get rid of them. Sometimes we get something worse like a Central Park, you know, and we cry every time, but you just retreat and you move on. Still very, very essential card for the deck. And that is essentially the theory behind it, right? Like I said, there's a bunch of different play patterns and I could just ramble on forever, but that is ultimately the, the plan and why I chose the cards that I chose and why we ended up adding Heimdall despite me having shit talked this card a bunch in the past. He's pretty good in, in the current uh, environment in ladder and that definitely suggests you bring him in as well. Uh, I got really sick gameplay today, a lot of matchups against Leader naturally, and uh, really, really excited about today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna stop talking. Love you, thank you for watching, stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoy the games. Leave a like for Cloak and Dagger. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tricky, tricky thing. Like, that's the problem with Heimdall a lot of times. That's why I like having Doctor Strange alongside him to, to have a little bit more flexibility. But I do think I do think Cloak on the right would have been would have been the way. Cause we, we ended up with way too much power in like one area. That's why it's so tricky, like where to place the Kraven, right? Guys, we got we got the new Scarlet Witch. And we lost Goose. Um I'm gonna skip here. See what they do. Angela over there, alright. Polaris top that could be pretty good. Okay, Nova Roma to make up for Sokovia. Very nice. Psylocke into Iron Fist. Still no combos here. No real location to um to trigger except for the fact that Hellfire Club. But if we if we're gonna Iron Fist here, I think we may just Psylocke this turn. We could just Psylocke in the center. If we Psylocke in the center and we top deck dagger, that's really good. But at the same time, we can Psylocke into Iron Fist because we, we we have to draw either Cloak or Dagger here. Uh, sorry, Vulture or, or or Dagger. And both of them work in that sense. So we're doing this. We're psylocke here. We're getting one energy. We're playing Iron Fist here. And now, and now, if we draw into... We need Vulture or Dagger here. Vulture or Dagger! Polaris, fuck. Okay, so we Polaris here and then we, and then we Beast.
refuel. We still have one more turn. I need to draw into one of those two. Vulture or Dagger? Vulture or Dagger? Come on. Come on! Fuck. You yeah, know, this is this is looking like an L. I mean they haven't snapped yet, so we don't have to get out of here, but we, we didn't we didn't draw. You know, sometimes you just don't draw your into your key cards and it's fine. Copium, it's fine. Uh what do we do here? It has to be something revolving around Craven. So we have to um We actually have to move Craven. We have to play Craven here into Polaris. We Craven into Polaris. Psylocke doesn't really achieve anything because it doesn't change my endgame. But it, it could have an impact though. If we play Polaris here, then, because if we top deck something like a dagger, then maybe there are some plays we can go with it. Let's do this. There's a vision. We're stacking everything on the right, gearing up for a potential Heimdall here. There's the dagger though. Now now that the Iron Fist has been weakened. Fourteen in the center. Fourteen in the center and uh, on the right. Let me see. What about what about you into no because I have to it's not looking great, but maybe there's a world in which this is... Okay, what about leader on the left? I don't have enough time to calculate a leader. Got him. People don't expect the Heimdall. They just do not expect the Heimdall, baby. Because I can't move to the I can't like the the, the combination of Bar Sinister in the center and and the uh, and the Avengers compound on the left was actually really problematic. Because that means I couldn't really move into that location. Heimdall into mid probably would have won. That is some serious copium. That is, I'm sorry, but that is some serious, serious cope. You, you're, you're on there. You, you, got, you got to chill. Nobody's dying today. We're all pro... Got us. Got us with the claw. Got us with the claw. Yeah, we got an extra stream today, Plushie. Because I'm going on vacation uh, Thursday next week, so I figured I'd, I'd do a bit of a marathon before that. I hate this. I hate this location. 
we're we're a combo deck, so we need we need to keep our hand busy, and this location just like shoots us in the foot. Uh, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, I got you a new shiny variant, please, Scarlet Witch, please, please to me. I'm gonna go Goose in the center to prevent Shang Chi nonsense here. And uh, and we're gonna come on, come on, Scarlet, Scarlet. Yes! That. Let's go Voltron left. Oh, oh, what a play! Okay. Oh, this is going to take a while. Not only is this location annoying, it also is, like, super badly programmed. We got the cloak. Mm, we got the cloak. Do we go for now? I think we do. And we... I mean, they could have Cosmo. Let's just play this here for now. Because Cloak turn 4 is really neat because we can move the Goose over there if we need to. Depends on what we draw here. You slow Cosmo, yeah, but they, they reshuffled it. So they, 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 drew like, they drew like a small portion. Psylocke in the center. Weak ass Scorpion. Into armor. Not impressed. Not impressed by your performance. Oh. Oh, 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 that's, that's interesting. Shang-Chi the middle anyways when I played the cloak okay that's kind of wild I could have moved the monster but I really didn't expect him to do that um, I mean the left is easy to win problem is leader on the left on the right Come on, chat. Move it. Move it. That's what I, that's what, I, by the way, that's one of the things that I like uh, about this deck against leader, right? Uh, if we play Iron Fist on the last turn, the reason why I did that was because when I play Vulture, if they leader, the Vulture will spawn in the center, but mine will move to the left. <laughs> not quite. Okay, we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade that, that message. Guys, I'm not, I'm not playing. I, I don't I don't mean to sound you know but I I I don't miss Legends of Runeterra like I'm sorry I I just really don't oh Olympia okay we got the combos ladies and gentlemen the combos are all here uh, do we have initiative please tell me we have we have initiative no oh my god they're gonna scorpion us guys they're gonna scorpion us. Well, we're gonna vulture. Oh. Never doubted. Cerebra? I doubt they they have they don't have Shang Chi guys. Guys, Shang Chi does not exist. <laughs> Booyah. 
How about we punch this vulture twice? Patriot. We just we just snapped against Patriot, but you know whatever. Oh my god, guys. This this iron fist into dagger. Holy shit. Iron fist into dagger and then we cloak her. Oh oh my oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Can I snap again? The power! We have to okay, so what do we have to do here? I don't want to set up any other play here. I want to keep my space open, so I'm just gonna do this. And then I no 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 no. The problem is I no matter what I do, I if, if I play something there, I, I overdraw. We need space. We need space though. Perhaps the best place to have space is here. Oof, this is tricky. This is tricky just because of the space, man. We gotta go craven here. Impressive. So let, let me explain a little bit here. Uh, the reason why we're playing this Heimdall here is because Beast will move to the left, but Iron Fist will remain in Kamar Tak. And what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That means that only Craven, Cloak, and Squirrel will move here, which means Dagger stays behind. Dagger is 20 power. Let's just say that's enough. Mogwai, will you ever stream on YouTube if if they if they make their their Twitch chat like actually watchable? Then maybe, yeah. <laughs> the, their Twitch chat. <laughs> they lost Watu, guys. They lost Watu, and we lost Psylocke. Actually, the the two pretty irrelevant cards, to be honest. That's a, that's a weak Sokovia. Ooh, we're gonna go dagger immediately. Do I snap here? They have a Watu. This could be, could this be like Cerebra? If, if it is, we have Dagger early on and we have Cloak. I believe. They want to play into the Baxter building. Let's snap. Let's snap. And I forgot to change the scene. That was a test, guys. They were going to play in the Baxter build. Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. It's a Cerebro deck. It's a Cerebro deck, but we got this. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. We got this! Oh my god. This clo- Oh my god. Ben Brud! Let's move that dagger in the center. Let's pump her up a little bit. And now we cloak over here and we crave in here. Wrong order. Weak ass scorpion. The more we move, the more we power the craven. Do we, I don't think we play Goose here at all. There's no point, right? Actually, maybe we don't We don't move you, and we actually play Polaris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Empowers the Craven. Destabilizes them a little bit. I want to save the Scarlet Witch in case I need to affect the, the building here. Yeah. 
We have to play Polaris first before moving the dagger. And then we... Uh, let's just drop Goose to keep the... Um... Nightcrawler. Mabaku! Mystique into another two drop uh, is pretty unstoppable, right? It's plus eight points here. It's plus eight points here. They have two cards in hand. But if it's, if it's, if it's, okay, so if it's Blue Marvel, if it's Blue Marvel, this Scarlet Witch wins. We have to believe it's Blue Marvel, guys. It's Blue, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play if it's Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel, Blue Marvel! Because if it's Blue Marvel, Scarlet Witch to the left alongside Kraven beats it. Only Mystique wins. Only Mystique wins. If it's Blue Marvel, it's plus four points here. Scarlet Witch moves here, triggers Kraven, plus five. Smoked. Mm. I defeated Mabaku! I'll do it again. What about a Sarah over Dagger plus Heimdall? Sarah with Heimdall. I mean, that, that could be interesting. It's a different deck concept, though, but that could be interesting. Lechuguilla. The Nexus in the center. The Nexus in the center. If I play... The moment I play Goose, I can't... I need cloak. I need cloak so bad. I need cloak so bad. Oh my god. This dagger. This dagger! Cloak. 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 Please cloak. Oh, 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 oh. Or this. Or this. Oh my. Wait, wait. What about this? We go boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. You're done. Nice way, bro. No, no, no! I, I want to keep playing cloak and dagger. No, no, no! I want to play. I want to keep playing cloak and dagger. I want to climb with this. I can play. I can play Psylocke here. And guys, 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 are you ready? Are you ready to watch me top deck Iron Fist to enable this Psylocke into a turn four beast? Are you ready? You're not ready. 
Iron Fist. Let's go. Guys, guys, this is the plan. This is the plan. No, no, this is the plan. This is the plan. We're going to get bar with no name. Bar with no name. We try once, we'll try again. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Guys, Vulture Top Deck. Vulture Top Deck. It's happening. It's happening. Fuck. Scorpion and Mr. Fantastic. Hmm. Suspicious. Is that a Cerebra? Because if this is a Cerebra, you're fucked. We, we adjust. And the way we adjust is we're going to capitalize on the Shuri's Lab value. Uh-oh. Wood Beast. Dagger! Oh, dagger, my girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just... Oh, my... I love you, dagger. I love you, dagger! Dagger Saba! What, what did I... What did I... What did I say? Guys, you, you're freaking me out. What did I say? It's fine. Nice leech, bro. Nice leech, bro. Playing Black Cat, which is interesting. Not really sure what their last turn is. 